Welcome to Let's Talk Fashion, Shantani. Congratulations on a beautiful collection. So can you tell us what inspired the theme of this collection? Yeah, this collection name is called uh, Urmila and this is a character. We represent uh, Urmila as a character from uh, Ramayana, you know. She was the um, wife of Lakshmana, Prince Lakshmana. And during his exile period with uh, Rama and Sita, uh, Lakshmana, I mean Urmila, uh, was uh, there in the palace and she was sleeping all the 14 years for his, her husband. And that means a lot, right? That means 14 years of her life was just gone. Uh, her sacrifice, uh, everything is for her partner. For, so such that they uh, do well in the society or uh, for their kingdom okay and i dedicate this to the all indian women who uh, really sacrifice their lives uh, to their partner for the well-being for them to work or for their um, um, what you call for their well-being everything okay so that is what a surmila is that is very inspiring to hear i mean that's such an innovative concept and theme behind this collection. It's very, very thoughtful, I must say. Yeah. Um, you told me this is a very unique sari yeah. that you're wearing from your collection. Could you tell us more about this? Yeah, um, when I heard about muslin for the first time, why I came to this um, industry, you know, our brand, Earthy Yans, is a sustainable um, clothing brand. And we support Indian handloom also. Uh, we do only Indian handloom. Very rare uh, fabrics which is sustainable like lotus silk and all. We don't get it from India. That's why uh, these all are, we are not uh, saying that handlooms, but all other are Indian handlooms. And this is from actually from Bengal. And you know, this is a very special sari because uh, this is Jamdani weave as we all know, but this is not uh, your khadi cotton you may have seen this in many um, fabrics but this is muslin and the most important thing is that this is 300 count muslin and unfortunately our handloom industry muslin handloom industry is dying so that uh, many of the weavers can't weave the 300 count muslin now we are getting only 100 and 150 count muslin before it was 750 years before uh, it was 750 count but now people can't even they don't know how to weave 300 or 350 uh, count muslin sari. So this is a very uh, special sari where rare piece, spear piece, you can't find everywhere this one because uh, you know uh, many of them uh, don't want to do their job because of the less demand in the Indian handloom. So we want to uplift those uh, handloom industry. We want to say the youngsters to come to uh, this new um, fashion but with the Indian handlooms. And we are thankful to amazing designers like you, Shantani, who make sure that you preserve the heritage and the craft of this country and take it down through the generations so that it's not lost. Yeah, uh, actually we say that we are storytellers of the thread. That means uh, we are telling you the story from the uh, viewer, viewers to the viewers actually. So from I am personally going to each and every weaver's house and I am taking food um, from their house also. So I know how they live actually. I don't bargain from uh, when buying from them, but I just want my customers let buy uh, the Indian handloom, promote the Indian handloom. Our uh, textile industry, Indian textile industry is very rich. We have a very potential weaver skilled uh, weavers here make use of them you we uh, like the, many of the youth now they uh, it's like a use and throw policy once they use it and throw when what we showcase here in the collections also all of them are saris mm -hmm. saris representing each states to the exile of the rama period okay so from the ayodhya where uttar uh, which is in uttar pradesh 
we started the Banarasi sarees from there and their exile ends in India at Rameshwaram which is Tamil Nadu and we represent Kanjivaram saree uh, there. So from um, Banaras to uh, Kanjivaram, we have showcased all Indian sarees and how to uh, modernize it. Uh, do, it was not a saree show actually. We have done a, in the Western style, so you can use it in modern, reuse it. That's what we have to say. Um, what would you say to the current generation, you know, who tends to go for fast fashion just because one, it's more easily affordable? Uh, readily available and what actually ends up happening is that there's somewhere uh, you know shunning away the traditional handicraft such beautiful stories such amazing craftsmanship um, how do they stay in touch with their roots because there's one thing uh, about you know uh, loving handicraft but it also comes at a cost and it might not be easily available so where do you see your brand coming into the picture? Uh, may I ask you a question? Uh, do your mom have uh, any kind of Banarasi or any other Bengal traditional sarees? Her entire wardrobe is full of it. <laughs> yeah. And why can't you thrift it and use it? That is what I have to tell to the young generations. If you are a mom less, like uh, they are saying, I'm, I'm not uh, wearing sarees. I don't like sarees. But wear it, wear it in the way you like, okay? Just thrift it. Why you are just throwing it away? It's like uh, the dream and a lot of effort of so many people. When a sari is coming to your hand, when a dress is coming to your hand, you're seeing it just as a dress, isn't it? But there are loads of efforts. There are loads of lives behind these dresses and these saris. So to the young generation, what I have to use is to tell us that the most of the uh, f uh, fast fashion you are using, they are mixing it with polyesters. And you know, once you may have used this um, plastic bags for carry things, but you have changed. Why? Because you got the awareness, right? Now you're carrying it with, uh, even if it is costlier, you are carrying it with paper bags. Right, you are carrying it with um, some jute bags and using it and reusing it. Why can't you take that in the fashion technology also? Just um, use and reuse your, if you, if, um, you can see that my brand strategist, she was wearing a um, um, uh, blouse that was like a top. She wore it with traditional onam sari. Now she is um, pairing it with uh, pants also. So why can't you do that for the youngsters? I have to say that just, um, you know, you can uh, rematch it, remix it, reuse it and you reuse it. If uh, Alia Bhatt can reuse her wedding sari, uh, she can uh, wear it twice. Why can't you wear it thrice or four, four or five times? Makes absolute sense. Conscious consumption over convenience it is. Yeah. Um, so what role does color and, you know, uh, fabric, silhouette and texture play in your collection? Actually, uh, we uh, go for natural colors uh, like this. In, this is natural indigo, yarn indigo actually. And uh, we also use eco printing uh, and also like... Um, uh, I'm uh, as of free dyeing. We are not using um, harsh chemicals like cancer agents. Like we are not using that kind of dyes also. But with that, we can uh, make different colors with natural colors, with as of free colors. We can uh, uh, dye it in vibrant colors, right? So we can use any colors with these natural dyes. Ajrak is one um, uh, type of dyeing, one type of uh, design, block design. And, um, uh, screen print also the, uh, but they use most of the uh, ajrak print is um, na natural dyeing, and you can go for that also for in case in case of colors, and you can get different combinations using the natural colors. So where can our audience shop for your collection, Santini? Yeah, they can shop us uh, from the Instagram at Earthy Yarns now. And we are launching our uh, site, earthyyarns.com, uh, next week itself.
Uh, so this was your first time at VFW and how was your experience? It was fantastic actually. Uh, I came with lots of tensions, you know, how will it go, how will it go, whether it fits. So many tensions were there in my head, but actually all the team, they had amazing team and it went fantastically. And we so are glad to hear that. I mean, at the end of the day for us at BFW, if our designers are happy, that is all that we want. So that was Shantani Paul from Early Yarns with us, one of the key designers at BFW 2024. Thank you so much for joining us here at Let's Talk Fashion, Shantani. Thank you.